I started doing it with my passwords. Save money. Be healthy. But in the password, I'm not giving that love to the word. And when I'm painting them, I am giving that spell, that magic to them. The first struggle was the language. Learning a different way to communicate and to love people. You love in a different language. And I was thinking like, what do I want to say as an artist? I was missing some energetic thing and I created the counting paintings. I take the ink, the paintbrush, and I inhale, exhale. I simply breathe and create a clean image. The newest thing you can have is being in touch with the present because it's never happened. And the ink portraits the moment. And I'm able to capture time. There is this chaotic static here because of all the words. And you need something to give you strength and to keep going. I'm concentrating on the curves, I'm paying attention on the lines, I'm circulating, I'm creating a design for the words. So this is the secret, the magic. And when I write them down, I become really conscious that I want that. And I'm exploring what it's to be human. The city is asking you to be something, to have a voice, to be yourself. It requires a lot of personality. You find inside of yourself places to water and to plant a seed. And the only way to work on that is loving yourself. Then I wrote, I love myself 200 times. And I realized that you can find little things that help you be present. Loving plants, loving dancing, creating weird tools to meditate, being in touch with my body, finding new personas inside of me, moving my hands, playing with my fingers, being in touch with the city that I love, all of that helped me to find my personality and being comfortable on my skin. The series was a healing process. When you love yourself, you are allowing yourself to live life. You're allowing yourself to be. And this gives me the confidence, the movement, and I can see the direction I have to go.